In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use SCP to copy directories recursively. I will demonstrate this by using one terminal which will be connected to one server and another terminal which will be connected to another server. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that'll let us know that you want more videos on topics like this one in the future. I'll start off by typing in sudo to elevate my privileges here because the directory that I want to access requires elevation of privileges. Then I will type in the name of the tool, SCP. I will pass two arguments, R for recursive copy and P for the preservation of modes, uh, modification times, and access times. Then I need to specify the absolute path to the directory, var log. And now since I'm copying this from server one to server two, some sort of authentication will be required. So I will provide the username and the password and the address of the server. Cloud user at the IP address colon and now I need to provide the path on the remote server. The path on the remote server will be home uh, cloud user. And if I do an LS here, you will see that there is nothing here. It just basically says desktop. There's only one directory and that's it. Well, if I type in home cloud user here, I don't need to type in a log at the end or var log at the end. Log will be created here along the destination directory path once it is copied over here. So whatever is within log, all the files and all the directories there, there is, it, it's not just going to get dumped here uh, without the creation of any top level directory. The top level directory will be created and that will be log. Okay. Let's go ahead and press enter. I will be prompted two times for a password. One password will be for sudo, which is the local password. And the other password will be off the remote server. Because I'm logging into it effectively with SCP. And there we go. So the copy has begun. It shouldn't take too long. If I do an LS down here, I will see that the directory has indeed been copied over. I go into var log here, do an ls, and then go into log here and do an ls here. You will see that it has exactly the same structure, exactly the same contents, and all the directories have been copied and all the and everything that is in those directories, all the files. Here, let me just show you. Audit. If I do an ls here, so I went into audit with cd space audit, and all the files that were in it uh, have been preserved, have been copied over to from one machine to another machine. Few notes here, the order dash rp matters, you might encounter some problems if you reverse the order. Second thing is that if you have any system links, they will not be preserved. You might encounter problems with those as well, but just keep in mind that they won't be preserved, uh, which actually makes sense. There's no guarantee that those links will exist on the other end or on the other machine, wherever it is that you copy this to. That's it. If you need any further clarity, feel free to leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. If you like this tutorial and want more like it in the future, please like and subscribe to the Linux Academy channel and we'll see you in the next one.